one day walk. The air here just smells so good. Oh my God. It moves. Okay. I can't tell. I don't know if it's. This is so pretty. All right, I'm gonna hang on to the rail because I feel dizzy. Oh, guys and welcome back to another episode of a little unconventional so today it's not going to be about art but it's going to be about my road trip that was technically in a pursuit of art and this is seattle pretty ass seattle So what you're seeing here is a diehard. All right, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. I'm not a diehard. I am a fan of Grey's Anatomy, which is why I decided to take this road trip with my bestie. And she was really supportive. We came here and we didn't know what to expect. I actually came here to come and get a tattoo because one of my really, really, really great artists, tattoo artists that is, who lived in Brooklyn, moved out here to Seattle, and I was planning a trip all by myself anyway. I, I was just thinking about shaving my head in the bathroom. No, not right now. At the house. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. So, I just want to say that Seattle was a very, very, very interesting place because, girl, some of the things that I saw here was just incredible. Yeah. Listen You're to this. Sorry. And this is the original Starbucks. I'm going to slow it down a little bit just so you can see how long this line is. Because I think that lines in other states are not the same. Look at this. It starts all the way back there. And then people are slow. Mm -mm, I ain't doing it, girl. No. Look at that line. Hi, Erica. Where are you from? I'm from New York. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I just made a statement saying that I, from my perspective, from my observation, I see that people have personalities, like real personalities. And I'm not saying people in New York don't have real personalities. I'm just saying like people just, I feel like they're more adaptive for survival and protection personalities. And it's, it's a totally different vibe here. Yeah. Okay, so all the touristy stuff was cute but i finally got to see some gay stuff and i was in a gay hood and look at me just feeling i'm frolicking no i'm not but still i'm there so i just gotta say i i kind of want to have seattle's confidence really level do. because i just out of respect i, I didn't report sure it did. but i just saw a grown ass that. man walk down the street very a confidently with mm -hmm. headphones and asked for the it watery, was watery. Shit, dripping down his leg. Not that he, he had a choice, but it was just the fact that he, he ain't trying to. really kind to say he didn't have a choice because I feel like he had a choice. I feel like he had a choice. Girl, girl. it was nasty. Mm. She said she would have ripped down some papers, mm -hmm. and, like made a skirt or something, but girl. Ain't no way I would walk so confidently down the street. And it's not even like he was trying to like hide nah, it. And it was visible. Very. It was, like, very visible. It was a lot of shit. Ah! Yeah. Very. Ooh, I remember this. This was the unicorn. And they had drag bingo. And the food is really good too. It was such a vibe. Even this place was a little different from what I'm used to. So here I'm just recording stuff. Letting you guys see a little bit of what the vibe was like. That drink was called the cotton candy and it was over. 
and they had a little bit of the aesthetic that was like old school and my burger here oh my goodness i am a burger and fries guy as you can see like i i have a double chin thank god it's just a double not a triple i was just vibing i was on vacation look at me look at me mm. it is <laughs> Oh, it was so good. Oh my goodness. I need a napkin. Give me a napkin. Somebody. That's mine. <laughs> and yes, pink is my favorite color. Because it looks so good on me. Yeah, I was fucking up that burger. And they had us go upstairs to go get it, which I didn't like, but it is what it is. I said 10 out of 10, but I'm really giving it an 8 out of 10 because of like how far the distance the kitchen was. Because as you saw, we went downstairs and it was just crazy, just absolutely crazy. And yes, it was really cool, really interesting. Seattle is totally freaking different. And yes, they had a machine full of dicks that you had, yes. You had free dildos. If you were able, it's not free because you had to play the book, but they had dildos that were dingy. But they had it. And it was just crazy there. It was really cute. It was a vibe. And um, we met some lady. I didn't record her, but she was just giving me all, giving us. She was giving us all the tea about Seattle on the West Coast. Okay, we had a little bit of a Britney moment. And that is the alcohol talking. See? See, I even said it. That was crazy. We had to go upstairs to get it. But it was such a cute vibe. Such a cute place. That's where we just came. Don't go. It's called Gemini Road. You don't want it. Yeah, we don't we really don't. But it was such a cute place to be. There's an underground somewhere? Seattle was so cute, but just so expensive. Okay. Besides it being pretty, hold up. Oh look, a fucking salon. <laughs> Been looking all day for a goddamn barber and I found one. Yeah, it was crazy. It was hard to find a black or Dominican barber. It's very cute here. I mean, yeah, it is Seattle. Yeah, don't judge me. But with all that being said, like, Seattle was really cute. The only thing that I had a problem with it, like, if I were to live there, was just... There's no space. Yeah, I know. A lot of shit's walking coming from me since I'm from New York. I was thinking. And there's a lot of on top of each other. But I don't know. It's just it's cute, but it's a little too expensive. And the vibe of like how forward I am with my personality, I don't know if like me and the girls will get along. But you know, I can't see anything. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we were exploring at this point. Oh, it's just it's like a shop, but like. I love you, Erica. Girl, you 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 was you was just you was a whole vibe. I love it. It really was cute. Really was cute. Oh, she lives. Because some Starbucks they they make they serve alcohol. Yeah, this was cute. And then some guy checked me out. And then we had a, like, a real life moment. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.